Meanwhile, people in Pleasant Grove are in mourning. A 12-year-old boy there was hit and killed by a truck. It happened last night at the intersection of Pleasant Grove Boulevard and State Street. ABC4's Andrew Reeser live in Pleasant Grove and tells us how the community is responding. Andrew? That's right, Emily and Brian. Now, we're right at the intersection at Pleasant Grove Boulevard and State Street where this occurred last night. And you can see community members already coming out to pay their respects to 12 year old Michael Madsen. That's his name. It was just released just moments ago to us by Pleasant Grove police. Of course, the community here is heartbroken. Several uh, fundraisers have already been uh, circulating for this family, which of course has to deal with this tragedy now one week before Christmas. Michael Madsen, we're told, is a 12-year-old student at Mount Mahogany Elementary School here in Pleasant Grove. This accident, which is what police are calling it, just a horrible accident, all happened right here after 6 p.m. last night. The boy reportedly was with his friends coming home from a movie at the time that he was hit. Nobody else was injured. Right now, a heartbroken community still just reeling from this incident, coming here to pay their respects. We try to be united on things like this, and this is just devastating this morning. We came home from a party and we saw it, and it was just so hard to witness it, and it's just devastating. Police tell us a man driving a construction truck was turning right on red here at Pleasant Grove Boulevard and did not see the boy crossing the street probably because of the height of the truck, which is just such a tragedy here. And of course, so many people devastated by this at this time. Police do not believe that there were any reason to believe that drugs or alcohol were involved in this at all. But this makes the third auto pedestrian accident in northern Utah in just the last three, just the last 48 hours, I should say. Reporting live in Present Grove, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.